move and copy entities in NanoCAD, we have the move command here on the ribbon and the copy command. Let's see how they work. To move one or more entities in the drawing, I come over to the ribbon and click the move button. And then down on the command bar, it's asking me to select one or more objects. So I'm going to select this block. I can keep selecting more or I press enter to continue with the command. On the command bar, it's asking me to specify base point, And all that means is a point from which to start moving. So I'll click this corner point here. And then it asks a second point. The second point is where you want the entities to end up. I'm going to move it over here. And I can hold down the uh, shift key to make the move orthogonal. That means in a perfectly straight line. And then click to place it. Block has been moved from here to here. To copy the block, I come back to the ribbon, click the copy command, and it has a similar set of prompts. Select the objects, so I'll select this block again, press enter to continue the command. Once again, it asks for a base point, and again, it asks for a second point. Hold down the shift key to make the copy perfectly vertical. I'll click, then as you can see, the command continues on, and I can continue placing the copy and then press enter to finish. So now I have two copies of the original. Now you don't need to use the copy or move commands to copy entities. You can do that directly. I'm going to select this block and then simply drag it to a new location. And you can see it's been moved. I'll press Ctrl Z to reverse that because I want to show you now how to copy it. So I selected it, I start dragging it, but then I hold down the control key and notice by the cursor that there's a plus symbol that tells you that it will now be copied. And so then I can place the copy. There is a third way to move and copy entities and that's to click on the grip that shows. When you click on it, it turns red. And then when you go down to the command bar, you'll see you have a bunch of options. Stretching, redefining the base point, copying it, undoing it, and exiting this. So I'm going to select copy from the options and then place the copy. And as with the copy command, it keeps repeating until you press enter. The other way to copy and move entities is with the clipboard. You can use control C or control X to copy or to cut and then paste to place the entity in another drawing. So I selected the block again, I press Control C, and then I switch to another drawing. Once in the other drawing, I press Control V, and then place the block. Mm -hmm.